Each time your cardholder has a transaction on their ramp card, you can indicate which pieces of information are required post-transaction. If you click into required fields under post spend, you'll see your team's card submission policies. You are not limited to how many card submission policies your team can have. We typically see teams have upwards of two to three policies here. You'll notice that you will be able to indicate a default policy. Looking at the general expenses policy, you can see how many cards currently fall under that policy and which pieces of information are required post-transaction. For example, if you would like to require receipts for all transactions, you can click into where it says receipt required for minimum, select the dropdown and select all transactions. Below that, you'll be able to indicate the same for memos. Below that, you'll see your chart of accounts imported from your ERP. If you would like to require your cardholders to fill out fields such as the category field, you can indicate that below. Lastly, at the bottom, we have review and enforcement. This is where you can indicate if you would like to auto lock cards with missing items after a certain time frame. For example, if I select seven days here, that means that post-transaction cardholders have seven days to submit their receipt, memo, and input the category. If any of these three pieces of information are missing after the seventh day, their card will be automatically locked. As soon as they submit the missing pieces of information, the card will be unlocked and ready for immediate use. Cardholders will always receive texts and or emails, letting them know which pieces of information are required.